everybody, welcome back to Circle of the Blind Mice, where we are low on vision but high on tech. Back again today with another video, and in honor of White Cane Week, which just came to an end here in Canada, we're going to switch things up and move from the high tech end of the spectrum all the way down to the low tech end of the spectrum. No electricity required. So what I have for you today is a review of the Amputech Slimline Graphite Mobility Cane, which was introduced about a year ago. Now, before I get into the pros and cons, a little bit of history is in order. So if you're anything like me, you grew up with a, a, a cane that had four to five sections and looked pretty much something like this. So most canes, although there is no international standard law as to what a blind and visually impaired person's cane should look like, most canes are either completely white or a combination of white and red with the majority of the canes still being white, and some countries even have yellow canes. But, to my surprise, this is not law. It's just the, the standard. Now, there are some states in the US that do have that in law, but for the most part, it's just a standard that people adhere to, but it's not written in stone. So, these canes, you know, they, they, they did the job, but they were very, very big. I have many memories of the 80s and 90s having to carry around a huge purse because this sucker was too big to actually fit in a standard purse. And you'd be worried that it would fall out if you were at a concert or out at a, a nightclub and, you know, you had your cane folded up to stow away. You would be worried that it would fall out of your pocket. And good luck putting it in a coat pocket because it was just not happening. So a number of years ago, Ambutech finally switched things up a bit and they started offering the six section cane and actually before I get into that let me actually show you the sections and hopefully this doesn't completely go haywire because when I tried filming this before the cane completely unraveled on my desk and sent stuff flying and scared the heck out of one of my dogs all right so here we go so this is the four section canes for those of you who are not familiar with the foldable canes so this is held together by two lines of strong elastic and of course it folds together for compact carrying or in this case semi-compact carrying so this is what we were all used to then thank goodness Amgutech a number of years ago brought in this lovely little guy here, the six section cane. And I would say it's about two or three, I'm in centimeters, so I'm trying to guesstimate here. Let's say about, eh, yeah, let's say two or three inches. I'm totally guesstimating here, but about two or three inches shorter when it's folded up, which made it great for putting in your purse, but still rather large. Weight-wise, I would say they're pretty similar. Let me just see here. Yeah, surprisingly, this one is not very different in weight. They are pretty much on par with each other. So that was a nice alternative, but still there was room left for improvement. Well, Ambutech must have heard us because finally, about a year or so ago, they introduced the, the Slimline series of canes. And not only do they come in seven sections, making them ultra portable, they are also completely customizable. You can customize these with everything from the color to the type of tip, to the number of sections and so on. So, I of course jumped on this because when a year ago I was about to go on a trip and I was gonna be going to a lot of concerts where I like to go to general admission shows where having your cane out is not practical. So once I get my spot, I shove my, I fold my cane up, throw it in my bag. That's where it stays for the rest of the night until it's time to go. So I absolutely jumped on this. Now here in Canada, these are available through Aroga. I went through Ambitech though because Aroga at the time didn't have their website set up to order these and the guy was on vacation, etc, etc. I actually got two of these, but this is the first one. So what you see here, in addition to the customized colors, now at, at first glance you might think this is just a standard colored cane, but instead of red, I've got a hot pink 
tip, yes? Ladies and any fellows that love hot pink, it's hot pink, it's fuchsia, and all its bright glory. This is so bright you can see it from outer space. And it's got seven sections. I'll just fold it out here so you can see. And they are substantially smaller than the canes of old. And, but you can not only have white and, and whatever color of your choice, you can actually have a solid color cane like what you see here on the bottom of your screen. So this one here is the all fuchsia cane that I uh, created myself with their options there. And I absolutely love it. So that actually brings me into the, the, the pros. But actually before I do that, let me take one step back to just give you a size comparison of all these canes. So let me just take the lovely pink one out of the way for just a moment. So here we go, we got the mama cane, the papa cane, and the daddy cane. Or the mama cane, the papa cane, and the, the baby cane, I should say, and I'm getting them all mixed up now. Alrighty. So. There you go. So huge difference between the canes we grew up with and the canes and the slimline cane that you can get now and a couple of difference inches difference from the uh, the six section cane so absolutely wonderful long 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 overdue and let me just take out the six inch six section cane for a second and I'll put in the slim line next to the old style one and looking at this the slim line is almost almost half the size while folded up as compared to the old one so quite a big size difference and if we take the uh, six size one and just put it beside it here you see quite a nice difference there so now for the the pros so number one obviously is the size these are ultra portable you can easily fit them in your purse and they are so small that if you have fairly big pockets on your your jacket you can even shove these in your jacket without worrying that they're going to fall out they don't depending on your pockets they don't go all the way in but some of my some of my jackets the pockets are so big i can completely insert this in the pocket and zip up the pocket and it stays secure without worries of it falling out the other benefit is that they are ultra lightweight. Anybody who's gone walking for a long time with their cane knows what it's like to have their wrist fall asleep while you're caning. Well, with these canes, it can still happen because of course that repetitive motion, but it's a lot less wear and tear on your wrist joints than it was with the older canes. These canes are actually 50% lighter than most mobi traditional mobility canes. Another benefit to these canes is the price. They are much easier on your pocketbook. In some cases, buy as much as $20. The price does range depending on how you customize it, but at its most, these retail for about $40 US, whereas some of their other lines of canes can go up to $60 and slightly even more than that. I saw one that was about $63. So definitely uh, these seem to be the cheapest. I went through a number of different canes on offer through their site and by far these were, were the cheapest of the bunch. So they look good, they feel good, and the price is reasonable. The last benefit of the Slimline canes is they are completely customizable. And I'm not talking about just being able to customize the tip from like a marshmallow or a roller marshmallow or a ball tip or a pencil tip. No, that's not what I'm talking about. And yes, of course, you can still customize all that. What I'm talking about is color. Not one, not two, but 10 choices of color is what Ambutech is currently giving you. They offer red, orange, yellow, gold, green, blue, purple, pink, white, black, and then they also offer red stripe. And I've seen photos of other types of stripe as well. So if you phone them and customize it with them over the phone, you could probably get some other types of uh, stripes in there as well. So this is absolutely awesome because you can really make it your own. For years, all we had a choice of was either white 
or red and white. Or if you're in a country that offers yellow, then yellow. I personally have never seen a yellow cane, but apparently they do exist out there. Point is, though, now you can really make your own, and I absolutely love that. A year ago when I got these two pink and uh, white canes here, I don't believe they were offering purple, but they are now, so I am so excited. I, I want to create my Easter cane now. So stay tuned because in a future video coming soon, I am actually going to walk you through how to customize your colors on your Ambutech cane, and I'm going to create my Easter cane. Now that actually brings me into the cons. It's pro of being customizable is also its downfall. I'll give you an example of what I mean by that. Last year when I was in the UK with a good friend of mine, we were traveling to many cities and a lot, lot, a lot of very busy cities. My friend noticed that while we were out and about walking in London, people didn't clue in that the all pink cane signified a visually impaired person. Even though I had it, you know, I was properly caning, like, you know, the whole windshield wiper effect in front of me, you know, doing the arc and everything, but people would be practically falling over themselves to move out of the way. Whereas after she pointed this out to me, I switched to just using the white and pink cane because although it's a bit of twist on tradition with the, with the, with the pink bottom here, it still looks a lot more similar to a standard cane than the all pink one. So when I switched to this one with pink and white, people got out of the way a heck of a lot faster. They were jumping out of the way miles ahead to make sure that, you know, I wasn't going to bump into them. So huge, huge, huge difference. So that's something to keep in mind. Is it a deal breaker? No, but if you're going to be out and about alone, it's something to think about because if you're crossing a street and the driver doesn't recognize that you're not going to see him is that a safety issue perhaps perhaps not i mean i was hit using a regular cane a number of years ago and the driver wasn't paying attention so if they're not paying attention it probably doesn't matter what color of cane you're using but it's certainly something to be cognizant of now one thing i thought of that will allow you to take advantage of the fact that these canes are a little bit out of the ordinary is you could use the solid color one such as this fuchsia one that I have here this hot pink you could use this in winter where it's going to contrast more with the snow and there are fewer people out and about at least where I live there are fewer people out and about because it is winter time and where I live we get like seven months of winter so you know in winter you're like less likely to have uh, misunderstandings with this cane because there's fewer people out there. But for the people that are out there, they're going to be more likely to see this. So whether they realize it's a blind cane or not, it's still going to stand out like a sore thumb against that bright snow. And that could be a benefit. And then on the other hand, I, I usually use this white and pink one more in the summer because it looks more like a tra traditional cane so when I'm out and about and there's more people about it's more recognizable as being you know signif significant or signifying a uh, the fact that I'm visually impaired. The other downside to the slimline canes is sturdiness. You cannot put your whole body weight on these canes. I know because every now and then I forget myself and I'll go and lean on my cane out of force of habit and the cane actually bends. So don't do that because it's not going to support your body weight. So if you need a cane that is a lot more sturdy than that, you may want to go with the more traditional canes. The third downside to these is the elastic that joins them. It's only a single elastic in the slimline version, and I'll try to get it in focus here. So if you look right there, let me just change the angle. There we go. So if you look right here, it's just a th one line elastic holding that together. In contrast, the standard graphite mobility cane has two elastics side by side holding it together plus these feel thicker as well so 
If you've ever been out and about and your cane's fallen apart, when you had the traditional cane and one piece of elastic broke, you still had the other one left to hold it together. And this has actually happened to me. I was on my way to work. Luckily, I was just a couple blocks down from my house, but the, the, I unfurled my cane to cross the street and it fell apart, Com the whole, completely fell apart. Luckily, I am legally blind, so I have a little bit of vision. I'm still legally blind and low vision, but I, I had enough vision to be able to go back home safely. And I was able to get one of my old spare canes that I, that I kept just in case something like this happened. Now with the slimline cane, if this elastic breaks down and you are completely reliant on your cane, and if you're going to be up a creek without a paddle, if your cane breaks, consider getting two of these so you can have one as a spare. They're so lightweight and compact that if you are, for example, a student or you have a fairly big bag, you, you, know, you can uh, stow the second one away with you and have that on hand just in case. The last downside to the slimline canes is the grip. And that would be the black part or the handle. Now on the slimline canes, it's only available in black foam. And this was quite a disappointment to me because when I ordered the cane, it said highlights would be pink or whatever it was I had chosen at the time. So I thought I was gonna get a pink handle. Now it turns out that the pink handle is only available for the aluminum and the regular graphite types of canes. So that's definitely something to bear in mind, but the, uh, the Ambutech website specifically says that the slimline cane is only available with the black foam handle. So just bear that in mind. Other than that though, I absolutely love the slimline canes. And apart from when I need a heavy duty cane from time to time, I always go for these ones first because they're just so much more portable. Plus I absolutely love the funky colors. My next goal is to create my Easter cane, which is a combo of purple and pink, and I might throw some black in there. So I will actually create that cane for you in a future video. I'm gonna actually take you to Ambutech's website and walk you through how to customize your cane. Meanwhile, if you've enjoyed this video, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Do feel free to share with your fellow blind mice and hit that like button, it really does help me out. And I will talk to you again in the next video.